Hi everyone, this is Katie Jensen and I'm a freelance podcast producer based in Toronto and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to record a remote podcast interview using CleanFeed Pro. This is one of the tools that you can use if you want to start podcasting remotely and you're not sure how to get everybody into one location or maybe you can't. Maybe you've tried Zoom and you want an alternative. Perhaps you've tried Skype and you want to make sure it's even easier for your guests. Well, CleanFeed is a great tool for you. I recently started using it for one of my projects, and I really like how simple it is to send an invite, how high quality the audio codec is, and how seamlessly my guests can add themselves to a conversation. It's also really easy to adjust their levels, which I'll show you how to do, and make sure that everyone is recorded to separate tracks, which is one of the most important things that you can do when you're recording a podcast interview, so that if someone coughs or they drop a fork on one person's track, it's isolated from the rest of the guests on the conversation. There are two plans you can choose from. The first is free, and the second one costs $34 a month. They do offer a discounted rate for $22 a month. These are all U.S. prices, by the way, for individuals who are using it for personal use or for institutions like educational facilities, that sort of thing. The real difference between the two plans is that the free plan only allows you to record all of the voices to one track, whereas the pro plan allows you to do multi-track recording, which is really useful And unlike Zoom, this is a big, big distinction. When you are recording multi-track in Zoom and you mute somebody or they mute themselves, it actually truncates the audio recording, which makes it really hard to line up later. So CleanFeed doesn't do that. It just creates digital silence when someone's not talking. Super, super useful. I cannot underscore that enough. So let's dive right in. We're going to create a login on CleanFeed. It's really simple. No cluttered sign-up process at all. All you're going to do is create a login, put in your email address, and tick off that, yes, you might have skimmed all of the terms of service, but you kind of read it. And yes, you are over 16 years of age. So the first thing you'll notice when you log into CleanFeed might be this bouncing green bar showing that we have healthy levels on our host mic. That's me, I'm the host. The next thing you'll notice is that right above that you'll see record, clips, and audio. Clips is there in case you wanna load up any clips to play for your guest later. Perhaps you wanna play them a beautiful serenade or some theme music or a clip pack. You can load that in as an MP3 or whatever kind of audio file you choose. We can choose between stereo, mono, left and right channels. You can also choose to boost the levels or decrease the levels if you've got a really loud guest who's talking really close to the mic or you've got a really quiet guest who's talking very far away from the mic. You can give them a nice healthy 18 decibel boost or ratchet them down if you need them to be quiet please. Now that we've covered all those bases we want to invite one of our guests. We're gonna invite me You hit that big plus connect in the middle of your screen and you can connect your guest. Here I am inviting myself, guest. Boom, I got the invite, I'm in the call. And look, I've muted myself because I don't want a feedback loop that looks like an infinity mirror. Ooh, got a little hot there, host. First, we gotta make sure that our guest is also in mono mix. Hmm, maybe I should give my guest a little bit higher volume because they have something important to say. It's time to record. I'm gonna give my recording a really logical name, like the name of my guest and the day that we're recording it on. I don't want to give it a vague name like interview or conversation because I really want to be able to find it after. Now, the most important thing is that I'm going to make sure that multi-track is selected. After all, this is what we're paying for. And when we're good to go, we hit record. Wow, the big red record button. We've seen it before. A legacy from VCR days and times gone by. We know it's recording because we can see the timers going up and when we hit that big red button, it pauses. Because I've selected multi-track, I can download the individual files for everyone. Hosts, clips, guests, you name it, we got it. All the downloads. When it's time to go, you can boot them out of the call, stop the recording, and make a sandwich. That was my tutorial on how to use CleanFeed. Next up, how to record calls on Skype.